Welcome to Three Minute Mission. My name is Akil Gardner, pastor and church planter of Redemption Church, Craigieburn in Melbourne's North. Today I want to share with you one simple missional principle that we are working to embody in our community here. And that's this. Connect your Christian friends with your non-Christian friends. It sounds really simple and straightforward, doesn't it? And the reason I'm saying this is from a purely relational point of view and a purely sociological point of view, conversion tends to happen when two circles overlap. Not always, but often. Be it conversion to a brand or a product or a lifestyle choice or new ideas and new ways of thinking, you name it. Conversion tends to happen when circles and networks overlap. That's because when these happen, new ideas emerge, new questions are asked and raised, and a search for answers get underway and access to new answers emerge. So in our personal relationship with non-believers who we're wanting to see come to know Jesus and we're praying for them to come to know Jesus, it's vital that we give them access to our Christian friends and our Christian networks. When this happens, they start to see the good news of Jesus embodied in a people, in a community, in a multitude of ways. They get to see the diversity of the body of Christ. And who knows, there might even be a Christian in your network who is better placed to journey alongside a particular non-Christian friend of yours and further them in their faith journey towards Jesus. Now you might be thinking, that's all well and good, uh, but I don't have many non-believing friends. Mostly my friends are Christian. While that may be true, and that might be the case, but chances are you've got a Christian friend somewhere in your network who has got non-believing friends pouring out the rafters and they might not have the time, the energy, or even the relational attention span to follow up every single non-believing contact that they have, but maybe you do. So what you could do is get alongside this Christian friend with heaps of non-Christian contacts and assist them to reach their network. And no, you don't have to be pulling out maps and charts and flowcharts and charting out your social networks and uh, printing up and laminating a plan, but you could do that. Now, I'm going to give you three simple strategies for making your circles overlap and to put this principle into practice. Firstly, get good at throwing parties. Everyone loves parties. Everyone loves food and catch-ups. A backyard barbecue is the perfect place to get your circles to overlap. Uh, one suggestion, though, is please word up your Christian friends in advance uh, to mingle and to be social when they get to this party, but not to be that awkward group standing in the corner like a clump of salt in a meal. No one likes that, right? Get them to mix and mingle. Word them up in advance. Secondly, if you're hosting a street party or a, a neighborhood party, be intentional to invite your missional community friends or your Christian friends to this party even though they don't live on the street, they could be helping you prepare, helping you serve, and helping you clean up so that your neighbours can get to witness what a community in action looks like. Thirdly, I want you to replace the word gym with anything you do on a regular basis. So if you're a member of a gym and you know that a Christian friend is also a member of that same gym, Organize to be there exercising around the same time and so be deliberate in introducing one another to each other's non-Christian gym friends. Remember, conversion tends to happen when circles and networks overlap. So be intentional about how you introduce your non-Christian friends to your Christian friends so that these guys can come to know Jesus.